the ball bounces, more amazing trick that, that we're going to do. So if you want to see the bunny out of a hat trick, make bounce as high as the top of your head, and I will pull the bunny out of the hat. But if you want to see the float in midair trick, make it bounce over the top of your head, and I will levitate around the banquet room. <laughs> or or well, the other one is the card trick, and if you want to see that, make it bounce lower than the bottom of my tie. So see, you don't have to say a word, you can just bounce it, and we'll all know which trick you want to see. Yeah! Hard trick! Good choice! Good choice! I, I'm, I've been waiting to show people this. Now, there's something that you didn't know about me. I'm a black belt at origami. And this is my new origami. Now, it's not like I do tournaments for origami or anything, but uh, this is an origami card box, and it looks real, doesn't it? Any card you like. <laughs> Perfect. Show it to everyone. Do not say it out loud. Okay, got it. And drop your card right there. Now, uh, this is not going to play, I don't think. Uh, how many seconds will you give me to find your card? When, give me a number of seconds, like three, five, three to find. Okay, okay, uh, that's a lot of time. So to make it difficult, I'm gonna do it while balancing. No, 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 that's a lot of time. Is that someone's cell phone? Is that seriously? That is a loud. Hold on, hold on, because I actually I uh, have this thing where I collect cell phones. <laughs> my cell phone electromagnet, and I hear a phone go off, and I just go, Zzz. whoa, that person needs to get in the new millennium. Okay, we now return to our regularly scheduled magic show. So you're going to give me three seconds. Um, to make it difficult, I'll balance on one foot, I'll snap my finger, your card will jump out of the deck, it'll spin, how many times do you want to spin in midair? Five? Yeah, five times midair, it'll land in between my first and second fingers. I'll do it all while balancing on one foot and doing a math problem in my brain. <laughs> Whenever you say go. Uh, Voila! The crowd goes wild! How about that? You don't see that every day. Oh, come on, that was it. What was your card? What? No, come on, tell me what your card was. Tell me what your card was. No, you can tell me because I'm pretty sure that's it. That's what I said. <laughs> You're not going to make this easy, are you? Guys, can you do it? Can you do that? They're going to go wild. <laughs> Just to be fair, totally fair and square, so that they know that we're not, you know, we're not working together. <laughs> First, tap the egg. Tell her what is the egg inside. The egg is inside. Wiggle, wiggle. Snap your fingers. The egg is gone! Woo! Reach inside. Come inside the bag. Pull it back towards you. Let go. And then give me five. That's sign language for no way. <laughs> sure, your hands up. Yeah, you can't do that with an egg inside. Show your hands up your front back. Uh, with, put two fingers in each side of the bag, just like I'm doing it. Good. Look inside, you see the egg? No. Nope. Uh, so you're with your right hand. Oh, you know what? I want to see how well you do. I'm going to go and I'm going to sit where you are so I can see you do it. <laughs> okay, so with your right hand, reach into the air, grab, yeah, grab the egg. Good. And now there's two ways to toss it. You can toss it the regular way or you can do it some kind of fancy. It's up to you. Oh! And then um, toss it into the air and then hold the bag up, do the oh. plunk thing. Good. Now show your right hand empty. Reach inside. Pull the egg out. That was incredible. 
Thank you so much. Let's hear it for her.